I'm currently in Spain and guess what day is today? Laundry day! So once your packing cube starts to look like mine, very empty, I actually only have one t-shirt left and this little smell perfume bag, <laughs> you know it's time to do laundry. I already did a video on laundry about one year ago, but since then there have been some changes to my kit, so I thought I would do an upgrade. And currently I'm traveling by car, so I have a little bit of slack when it comes to what I bring. But don't worry, this video is suitable for you whether you are traveling minimally with airplanes or if you're on a road trip or living in the van. And I've split this video into two parts. So first I'm going to talk a little bit about washing, which tools I bring, detergent, those things. The second part is about drying. And if you ask me, finding a place to dry your clothes while traveling is actually the more challenging part. So let's go wash some clothes. Here in this uh, pouch, I usually have all the tools I need to do my laundry on the road. I usually bring my homemade sink stopper that I just cut out of one of those uh, silicone baking sheets from the dollar store. Then another thing I use is a dry bag. I personally have one from Sea to Summit. It's uh, 13 liters. And after my last video, many of you asked me why I'm not using a scuba bag. So in my opinion, it's mainly an overpriced dry bag. I sometimes can see that this valve to let air in and out could be useful. I'm not sure about the silicone nips inside. So for me, I'm fine just using a cheap dry bag. Plus this dry bag I can use for other things as well. So when we're going to the beach or on a boat ride and I'm afraid that my things will get wet, I will use them. I use this as a laundry bag before I do my laundry. So for me, a regular dry bag does the trick. But if your experience is different, then please <laughs> just let me know. <laughs> so when it comes to laundry detergent, in the past, I used to use just regular soap or shampoo or whatever I found. I also used uh, the Dr. Bronner soap, which worked very well. Um, I also, in Brazil, I picked up these Vanish soap bars. But currently, my favorites are actually those uh, laundry detergent leaves. I have the Magic Leaves from Dr. Beckmann. It's a German company, but I'm sure you find something similar anywhere you go. And basically, they are just uh, solid sheets that you dissolve when washing your laundry. And they're very practical because they're very lightweight. You can use them in washing machines or for hand wash, which is something that's very practical for me because some Airbnbs have washing machines that I can use. And also when I go on an airplane, they obviously don't count as fluids. And another thing that I picked up recently are those um, Leloa Unstoppables laundry perfume pearls. They're just small pearls and for each wash I just add four or five of these to the laundry and then it actually smells very nice. So now let's talk about how I wash my clothes. The way I see it, I always have two options. I either use my sink stopper and wash directly in the sink or in the bathtub or I use my dry bag. I personally have a tendency to do the first wash with the washing detergent inside of my dry bag for the simple fact that I can then massage it and I don't have to get my hands wet every time I do that. But also, for example, when the sink is not very nice looking or it has one of those uh, modern shapes that are absolutely a nightmare to wash clothes in, then it's a no-brainer. I will always use my dry bag. So I just put the laundry detergent sheet inside my dry bag. I add four or five of those uh, perfume pearls and then I just put my clothes in. Just make sure that you don't wash too many clothes at once. You want to be able to move them around inside the bag. And then I will just go to the sink and fill it up with hot water if they have. And when there is enough water in my dry bag, I will just squeeze the top to get the extra air out and then just roll it and close the bag. And then I will just go ahead and shake it and wiggle it and roll it and massage it. And if I'm washing while I'm in the shower, which I also sometimes do, I would just kick it with my foot. <laughs> and then I just let it soak for a little bit, usually around half an hour or if I forget it for a few hours or if I have no time for five minutes. And every once in a while I would just go back and move things around and massage it and twist it and turn it. And, and that's why I also like it when I have it in the dry bag because then I just can do it from the outside and I don't have to get my hands wet all the time. And once the time is over, I just open the bag and drain the water. I usually form like a little funnel at the bottom and then just flip the bag upside down and let the water run out. 
And then it's time to rinse the clothes and remove all the excess detergent. And again, if the sink is not really usable, I would just use the bag and do like I did before. So I would fill it up with water, but this time I usually don't close it up. I just hold it on the top and massage it around and then empty the water out again. But when I do it in the bag, I usually repeat this step two or three times just to make sure that all the soap is gone. But if the sink is usable, I actually prefer to do it in the sink with the sink stopper. And I would just uh, close the sink with my sink stopper, put some water and my laundry in there and uh, massage it in some fresh water. And then I would drain the water once. Then I would fill it back up with fresh water and then I would just slide my sink stopper a little bit to the side halfway so that some water can run out. And I would also turn on the tap so some fresh water comes in and just massage it under this uh, running water for a little bit until I have the feeling that all the soap is gone. And after that, I just squeeze the clothes a little bit inside the sink and then I move them a little bit up on the border and just let them in there for around 10 minutes to get like the worst water out. And now it's time to dry them. And actually, I already have quite a few tools that help me with finding places for my clothes to dry. So the first thing I have in here is my C2 Summit clothes line. It packs very small, but it's actually quite long and it's perfect to just hang it outside somewhere to hang up your laundry or beach towels. The nice thing about it is that it's actually two strings that run parallel. So you can put your clothes in between and secure it with two pearls on each side. And that means that the wind cannot blow away your clothes. Another thing in here that I like very much is, well, I already showed it quite a few times, so I will not say too much, is my cap hanger. It has a Velcro here, so I can hang it over the clothesline, over a shower curtain rod, over a hanger in a room, over the clothes racks, anywhere. And it just gives you a nice spot to hang up underwear and socks and dry them in a room. And my newest addition <laughs> are actually these hooks. I bought a pack of five for I think three euros and they're very small and they're very nice to hang up jeans and pants and especially for jeans shorts because they always drip for a very long time and in a hotel room you usually have no place where this thing can drip so with those hooks I would just hang it into the shower and just let it rinse off until it's dry enough to go to a better place and they're also very useful to hang up other things so until now, these are all the things that I would bring with me when I travel minimally with an airplane, because I have to do a lot of laundry. Now that I'm traveling with a car, I made my life easier and I actually added one more thing to my kit. And that is this drying rack. So when it's still folded, it may not look like very much because it folds down very small, but you can actually just unfold it and then you can also extend it in the width. And then this small thing actually turns into something very, very, very useful in my opinion. So obviously at full size we use it to do our laundry, but sometimes we also just keep it half size and we put it in the corner somewhere in a room and then we just hang up our things and they're never in the way. And here in Spain there's actually a lot of wind, so all our clothes when we dried them outside were always flying all over the place. So that's why we recently bought some clothing pins in the supermarket and added them to our kit. So how do I dry my clothes? As I already mentioned, I push them a little bit to the side of the sink and just let them drain for a little bit to get out most of the water. And depending on the location where I am, there are two ways that I will do that. The first way I would do when I'm in a hotel room. And for that, I would just most of the time spread out the towel on the bed. I would wring out my clothes in the sink as good as I can and then just lay them flat on the towel roll it up, squeeze it and sit on it and let it just rest for 10 minutes or so. With that method, most of the water already gets out of the clothes and they will dry usually overnight. Option number two is like I do here in Spain, because as I mentioned, there's always a lot of wind and it's very hot and very dry. So the clothes, even when they're soaking wet and dripping, they dry within a few hours. So for that, I would just put the towel next to the sink squeeze my clothes out one by one and just throw them all into the towel. And then I would just roll up the towel and very tightly squeeze it a little bit to get some of the water out. But in my opinion, when there is one thing that will make your life doing laundry on the road much easier, it would be to pick right clothes. 
I usually stick with quick drying clothes or thin materials, things that are really drying faster. The only exception for me is jeans shorts, just because I really like them, but they're really a pain in the ass to wash and they always take a day or two to dry up. If you have any tips for me, I always love to hear them. And if you want to hear more tips from me, I already created a few videos about minimalist travel and I will link them somewhere right here. And other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!